Next we have a uh, flashlight and laser. Now I believe the default for laser is Q and I like using it a lot. I prefer it I'm to flash to flashlight but basically you put it over a spy and it locates them. If you hold it on them long enough then they'll be on your radar but that doesn't happen because usually spies don't sit still too long for you. <laughs> the second one is flashlight and um, mine is set to shift but I believe the default is E and you'll notice it's red but that's because I have an ETI Radeon 4850 <laughs> but it also it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now one of the most important things for a Merc to do is charge and berserk. Now a charge is basically uh, the default is shift but you have to be walking and forward you have to be walking forward and then and it knocks down a spy you can't charge right after a charge or berserk right after a charge there's a, a, a delay another one is berserk if a spy went to jump on you you just press the the E button or the shift button whatever the default is so you don't press forward instead you just press the button so go ahead try to jump on me okay that is not a good example <laughs> Okay, that is what we call, yeah, stupid Ubisoft, but he's technically supposed to, that's, that's a, that's what's supposed to happen, see? It's just, you know, CT Ubisoft being, having its normal glitches, jumping in, on a berserk, but that is what is supposed to happen. If they jump on you twice like that, then, you know, you die. Now we are going to be the spy, and there's the same thing. You can pick four equipment. There's uh, smoke, chaff, sticky cams, and they have a whole list of it, and it explains each one. We'll just start with smoke, chase, camo, and sticky cam to start. Okay, now a spy's objective is to neutralize all the objectives. Technically, you win automatically if you kill off all the mercs. And if you press F10, you'll see how many lives uh, each each person has. Spies start with four, mercs start with three. And they, it differs on each map, but the defaults are what you want to stick with. Now, I picked Museum because it kind of has a lot of different types of objectives that you see in different maps. First, there's the computer. You can tell um, because it has a little computer type of monitor icon. Uh, there are the discs, which look kind of like a, it's that one right there. It's like a little circle. And then there are the bombs that kind of look like uh, they have uh, explosion icons. Now we'll go over the hacks first. Computer hacks, this is what we call outside cafe. And not every hack has it, but you'll notice that it's got lasers running down. right? So first we'll go through our visions. The first vision is night vision. And the second one is thermal. And in your thermal, you see the lasers here. Now, there are two ways to, if you run into it, it'll set it off. And then you won't be able to hack it. Now, if you want to hack it, then you press, you do these things like that. And he just did it. And you look on your thermal and see the, the lasers are gone now. Now, say you're going to a bomb objective. Now in a mono, there are different places you can put place the bombs. You can put it there, any any place where the icon is, you know. So let's put it down here. You go up to it and you just do your use button, and it's a 25 second objective. In order for the merc to uh, secure it, he just has to shoot it. Let's see, he has to hear where it is and secure it, and that is a bomb objective. A disk objective is like the one over here. And this one also has lasers. If I go through it, then it will set off an alarm and I won't be able to pick it up right away. So you can either shoot it and whatnot and set off the lasers. Now, when a spy has a disk, if they're not sneaking, they will show up on a Merc's radar. You know, the little red blip that you had seen earlier. If I'm sneaking like this, 
which is, by the way, the middle button, usually the middle button, then I won't show up on radar. Now you can tell where you have to drop off the disk because you get these little uh, red arrow icons. So I could drop it off over here, or I could go to the back, go up to it, and drop there. Lies. <laughs> and see it says data captured, and now I only need two more objectives. Let's go back to uh, visions. Um, thermal is useful to see to uh, see if there are any poison mines or laser mines or mines at all, really. Same thing, yeah. Marks through smoke. You can see a lot of things, but you see that you see the the lines that go across. So you can either learn to avoid it or go around it. Take it off. <laughs> or run through it and everyone dies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Those are visions. Now let's just go through the basics. First, the smoke. Now I set my quick use button number one to smoke. If you looked back there, quick use button number one and quick use button number two. That means the quick use button number one is mouse button one. So if I right click, that's my second quick use button. Now what's important for a spy is that there are different ways to, it boils down to pretty much stealth or aggro, which you want to do. Um, but there's always the thing of surviving. And uh, to punch, I believe, is the default is shift. And normally what spies do is punch and shock. So you pull out your gun, first mouse button, and it gives you time to do whatever you need to do. You can't shock a merc right, <laughs> right away after he's been shocked. Try to shock him again. I won't be able to. Now if we go through the smoke, see see how he'll kind of cough. He has to put on his gas mask, otherwise he'll sleep, or he has to get out of the smoke. And he, he moves slower. Now the second one is the chafe. We'll talk about the chafe. The chafe does a lot of things. Um, for example, if a merc is in visions, it'll take him out of visions. So if he switches to visions, you can tell what visions he's on. That's motion tracking. Then see, he can't use his visions anymore until he gets out of it. Dude, he won't be able to snipe and chafe either. Another thing that chafe does is it will uh, deactivate mines or lasers. Like, for example, these lasers, you could shoot it or you can chafe it. And if he had put down a like a proxy or something, all right, you shoot a chafe at it and the light will go off and you can go and run up to it. Now my partner just neutralized him by jumping on him. If I jump on him while he's still shocked, it'll kill me. <laughs> now we'll get into the sticky cam which is my favorite equipment. Now, um, <laughs> a merc, yes, thank you. Now, a merc, uh, a merc can't be cammed right after you shocked uh, right away as well. You have to wait a little bit, too. Um, but the sticky cam can be prevented. Uh, it'll make a merc go to sleep, but if he puts on his gas mask, and why don't you put on your gas mask? He won't sleep. But if he p takes off his gas mask and he walks into that, he'll go to sleep. No, me. Okay, now the other equipment that a spy can take is alarm snares, spy bullets, camo, and heartbeat sensors.